In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the Vast Fire Bike Tail Laser Light. Welcome and welcome back. This is the Review Dad. Hello. If you are wondering why I am referring to Spider Man, well, keep watching and all will be revealed. I also reference another famous TV show, but again, keep watching and all will be revealed. So, what are we looking at today? Well, we are looking at a two-piece Vast Fire bike light set. Now, these are laser lights. They are also LED lights. Now, they are 500 milliamps, 150 lumens. They are very light, 51 grams, and there are six modes. So, there's three modes for the LEDs, and there are three modes for the laser. It's also waterproof, so splashes and rain while you're riding is fine. And the usage time that you can get out of them is roughly three to eight hours, depending on which settings and modes you're using. Now to charge them it uses micro USB and that takes roughly two hours to charge depending on what cable you use as well. So taking a closer look at one of these lights you can see there are three pieces in the box. One of them is a rubber strap with a little plastic clip on it. The plastic clip is an octagon shape so that is eight sides. Yes, eight sides. Anyway, the rubber band can fit around a multitude of bike poles, so various sizes. Looking at the USB cable, it's micro USB, so that is used to charge the light. Looking at the light, you can see it's really compact. You can see the octagonal shape for the clip. Now looking at the size of the light, you've got 95 millimeters in height. And again, I use everyday items to compare sizes so you can see roughly how big these things are. And that's a Sharpie, so the light is actually quite small. It's smaller than a pen. So nice and small, nice and compact, so it can fit on the front and the back. Front and back! For your bike, because you get two. Now the light is equipped with two buttons. One is LED and one is LD. LD is laser. As you can see it flashes, you push it again it flashes, then you push it again it stays on. Now, this is the reference. Ah, that is the Spider-Man reference. I'm sure you can see what I mean here as I place the logo on the laser light. This looks pretty awesome when there's two on the bike, I'll show you later. One more time. Hey, how awesome is that? Now, let's look at the next light with the LED. Here comes the second reference. Let me know if you're old enough. Who used to watch that show when they were younger? How awesome was Knight Rider and David Hasselhoff? Yeah, you look at it now and it's pretty rubbish. But yeah, it was cool back then. Like the A-Team. Shut up, fool! So the LED comes with three modes. So there's basically two Knight Rider modes and a solid on-state mode. And then you can have the lasers all together. How cool is that? This is something else. So how do we attach the light to the octagonal clip? So here we can see as I've zoomed in for you so you can see clearly it just slides in and you can rotate the light around any way you want. Just be careful of aiming it sideways. You don't want to shoot people in the eyes that are walking past or driving with the laser. Then take the rubber band and fit that around the bike handlebars or the crossbar or the seat bar. You can also see the light is adjustable. So this is adjustable 180 degrees. So you can move it up and down to get the perfect angle for the light to be visible. And it, trust me, it is visible. It is very bright and works really well. Again, you can see switching the light around. So if your handlebars are not usable for the light, you can put it on another bar and the light can sit on the side or behind or wherever you want to place it. It's very versatile and it's very easy to adjust and use. If after adjusting the light many times you might notice it's sagging a bit, just use the tightening screw and this will sort your problem out and the light will be fixed in place once again as you see fit. So here I fit one of the lights to the back of the bike and this is just below the seat as you can see. So the rubber strap fits nicely around and then clips onto the light quite easily and then you can see how the light adjusts up and down as I described before. So the LED light will flash like Knight Rider and the laser light will shine down and it will cast that spider web logo kind of look onto the floor around your bike, sort of creating a barrier. It actually looks pretty cool in the evening and you'll see some of that footage coming up soon as I film some night riding. Get it? Night riding. Now we 
here at the front of the bike and as you can see the pole at the front of the bike is much thicker than the one at the back but no problem for the rubber strap as you can see it stretches and it fits quite nicely it's also much more snug when it's tighter which is good again the lights adjustable up and down and once the light is on you can see down the sides as well the light is visible from the sides which is also very nice and the light is very bright once again so just be careful with the laser, do not shine it in people's eyes because that is dangerous. So what does the light look like at night? Well, here we have it in the evening. I went out especially for you guys in the dark to try and get the best picture I can, but it's very difficult with the phone and trying to balance the bike and all of that. But anyway, I got it going and this is what it looks like. So the lines project down onto the floor next to the bike, which looks awesome. So you can get that Spider-Man feel and that barrier around you. And this is just the back that's on. And then when you wanna to switch to night rider mode, you can switch those other lights on as well, as you can see here, or you can just have a static light that stays on, which also is very bright and no one will be able to miss you when riding through the traffic. Now the lines look a little bit jagged on the floor, that's because the bike is on grass, but once I move into the street you'll see what I mean. So setting up the front light now as well, you'll see I've got a lot of brake cables in the way and that which do break up the light, so if you have a clean setup on your bike the lights do shine much more clearly onto the floor and they're still very bright either way. So now I take the bike for a spin and as you can see it looks like a massive spider is on the floor around the bike which looks really awesome in the dark. The camera doesn't do it justice. There is bright light outside still with the street lights and everything so it doesn't show up as well on the camera. But when you are riding you can see it's actually really bright when you are actually there and riding in real life. So take my word for it these are bright and they look really awesome on the street. It does look cool. I had a few people looking at me that were parking their cars and walking around. So it does attract attention, which is good. So you will be seen when riding around. And uh, yeah, you can uh, be the Spider-Man or the Knight Rider, whatever mode you want to choose. So enjoy the video. This is the Review Dad once again. Thanks for watching and join me for another review next time.